I've been poisoned. Help me. We're down here. Help. No one can hear you. I don't want to die down here, Zach. I don't want to no, die. Okay. Die, okay. Yeah. okay. Okay. First aid. First aid. I need. I need. Um. Um. Pressure. We have to. We have to put in pressure. The more you panic, the faster the poison's gonna move. Calm okay. down. Okay. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna keep breathing. Keep right. breathing. Sit down. I'm gonna keep breathing. Yes, I'm sitting. I'm sitting. Okay. Now let's get the poison out. How? Oh. Close your eyes. No way. No way, Zach. It hurts too much. No, I can't. I can't. No way. Okay, look at me. It's going to be all right. Okay, now close your eyes. Work with me. Hey, I'm sorry that you didn't get back in time to put Ian down. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Two boys asleep in their very own bed? Nothing beats that. How about we get some dinner? You want some Chinese? You don't have to stay, Ryan. You want some cookies? There's going to be some chocolate chip cookies around this No, place listen to me. I don't need a babysitter, okay? Rachel is here and Josh is on his way home. I know that. Fine. I know. You don't want to leave Spike any more than I do. Guilty. Okay. All right. Well, then, you know what? You guys are welcome to stay. You can call Annie and have her bring Emma. It'll be like old times. They will find him, Kendall. I know. I know. I just, I just wish that Zach were here now. Chinese it is. You want some sweet and sour chicken or sesame? Are you sure? I mean, really sure? Yes, I'm really sure. Annie knows I'm going to be here a while. Okay, all right. Okay. Yes. Both? Both. I want it all. Okay. Hey, this is the Slater house. Yes, that is the address. Exactly. I'd like to place an order, please, for delivery. We'll have a uh, large order of sweet and sour chicken, make an order of sesame chicken, as well as, I don't know, maybe some beef and broccoli and some egg rolls. Yeah, no, no drinks. Thanks, we're good. Thank you very much. About a half an hour. So how's Annie? Better. Thank you. Now that uh, Richie is locked in a, in a ward, she feels like the whole world is off her shoulders. You know, she feels she feels free. That's good, Ryan. That's that's great. I'm so happy for you guys. That's what a relief. I'm sorry if uh, if I upset you before. I, I really didn't mean to. I'm sorry I snapped at you. It's okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. It's like everywhere I am, I feel like I'm supposed to be somewhere else, you know, ever since the, the crazy accident. I mean, I go into labor, and then I hand over Spike to Greenlee. Kendall. What happened is not your fault. Ryan, Spike was in the hospital, and I was having Ian. So here I am torn. I, it's like I had to choose between my two sons. Do, do I go to, to, to the, the, the NICU, or do I go to the pediatric ICU? I mean, how is anyone supposed to choose? And now, Zach is missing, and, and Spike is still in and out of the hospital over and over again. Hey, Kendall, it's okay. You can't do everything. You know, you can't... You can't be everywhere. Well, I, I shouldn't even have to choose. I mean, there shouldn't even have to be a choice. My family should be here, home, healthy and safe. And they will be. Look. You hear that? He's here. Zach is not. And I can't look for him and, and take care of my sons at the same time. There's lots of people looking for Zach right now. Lots. I made a deal with God for Spike. I told him that if Spike made it through the surgery, that I would... You'd what? I told him that I would confess to the police for setting up Greenlee. But I didn't. I didn't keep my promise. Okay. 
your girlfriend's missing. I get that, but don't come after me, man. All right. You're right. I'm sorry. This is not happen again. Okay? I'm just giving you the facts. Yeah, but I know them all. Right? I don't need you to give me your opinions. Fine. What now? We leave this rock for my friend to pick it up to test the blood. And then we get out there and we'll search again. There's nothing out there. Look, listen. We'll search again. Like I said. All right? I'm not going to give up. You see the choppers? Yeah. I called in a few favors. They're looking outside the grid. But look, they're here. Somewhere. And we're going to find them. What you wouldn't do for love. What was that? My mom's favorite song. She used to sing it all the time. Fool for love. You're camping out here. In the middle of nowhere, in the winter alone. And you're calling me the fool? Whatever works. I know your story, Quinton. Out of my way! You're gonna tell me that you pulled all these strings to get me out of jail. Now you wanna fight me? I wanna find Mark! I tell him what? That he can't fight for his kid? He's not gonna take Jenny away from Crystal. No. You mean he can't do what you did to me? Oh, come on, that's not the same. Yeah, that's right. You didn't go down the legal road. You had my mother committed. This is different. It doesn't involve either you or Dixie. Are you kidding me? This has everything to do about me. This is my family, too. No, we're fine. You're going to choose Tad over your own father again? It's always about you. No, no, it's about that other guy. The one you called your other father. I would choose Jenny over either one of you and every kid who, who's ever had his life turned upside down. I'm not going to hurt Jenny. And Tad is? He is her father. Like it or not. Too bad. It's Crystal tough. Crystal knows what's best for her daughter. Then let her take it to the mat with Tad. No. No, it's not going that far. Why? Not... Because it's going to ruin your big reunion plans with Crystal? No, because Jenny deserves to be with Crystal. Well, it's nice of you to finally acknowledge that. You messed up with Jenny. You were pissed and jealous, and you went for the jugular. I mean, you tried to pawn that poor kid off Jenny. to the highest bidder. Crystal, Crystal's forgiven me. Oh, I find that hard to believe. And I know Tad never will. Oh, no, I don't give a damn about Tad. But Crystal needs me. No, not for this. You let them hash it out. You stay out of it. I don't need you to tell me what to do. If you don't back off Crystal, I think it's safe to say that she's going to stop loving you. And I wouldn't even be surprised if she started to hate you. Dad, you were right. I don't want to be anywhere near Adam. I don't want Jenny anywhere near Adam, and I don't want to fight with you. Wait a minute. What the hell happened? You're Jenny's dad. Not Adam, you. You're the one who, who tucks her in at night, who, who sings her silly songs and makes silly faces. You promised to protect her. And you love her. And I love that you love her. And I don't want to fight with you, Tad. Well, I don't want to fight with you either, but you know what that means. I do not want to destroy this life, this home, this family well, that we've made. Look, I'm sorry, but from where I'm standing, look, that looks like, like that's exactly what you're doing. No, no. I'm confused. I thought we established, good or bad, that you are in love with Adam. I will never choose him over my daughter. Crystal, what makes this different from all the other times you said you'd never have anything to do with him ever again? Because this time, I'm not going to give him the chance to get to me. How's that? I'm leaving Pine Valley, and I'm going to Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, wait, just wait a minute. No, no, I can't wait. Listen, I'll down. let you know where I land. I'll call you. We'll start a, a, a new life, okay? We'll find a new place. We? Really? I mean, you want to you start over somewhere out there? With me?